internet users reveal the precise time Amber Heard's attorney started questioning his life decisions. Twitter users made the remark and disclosures after they posted a number of pictures showing Amber Heard's attorneys cradling their faces in their hands during the entire trial. I know you want to learn more about this, so make sure to watch until the end. Hit like and subscribe for more videos like this. One of the observers turned to the audience and made a shocking revelation on the lawyer's alleged life decisions and the purported regrets that were likely to have run through their minds. He quoted, But really, he looked like he was questioning his life choices and having a mental breakdown for the entire time. This reply was in response to the poster who first published the pictures who said, All right, it's official. I'm an Adam Nadelhoft apologist. This poor man doesn't want to be there defending Amber. If I see one more person calling him Rottenborn Jr., I'm throw hands. I have a right as an American to talk about what happened to me, to own my story and my truth. No human being is perfect, certainly not. None of us. But I have never in my life committed sexual battery, physical abuse. According to reports, Hollywood actress Amber Heard fired private investigator Paul Baresi because he couldn't find anything bad to say about her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. We all came up empty-handed, so she fired us. She fired the lawyers, and with the lawyers went me in, in September. So it was solid three months, three and a, three and a half uh, months. And so it wasn't until uh, April of 2020 did I decide that I would share some of my my times and my experiences as a private detective working for Amber uh, in accordance with what Amber alleged, primarily find other women who were abused by Johnny. So I searched far and wide. I spoke with a great many people. I knocked on doors and uh, at, I couldn't find one. I couldn't find one person to say one deprecating thing about him. According to the private detective, the Aquaman actress hired him to unearth embarrassing information about Johnny. Um, Amber hired me in the summer of uh, July 2019 is when she hired me. July 9th, 2019. And I searched under every rock, every stone. Uh, we engaged the services of a private detective overseas. We, we looked all over the world to try to find bad things about Johnny, and we all came up empty-handed. So she fired us. She fired the lawyers, and with the lawyers went me in, in September. So it was solid three months, three and a, three and a half uh, months. But having no dirt to be found, Boresi tried to look in Johnny's past and found out about his biological father. It's, uh, it's old, no less extraordinary. For example, I found there his mom and dad's uh, marriage certificate. Uh, there was one single piece of paper, but it told me, I see here that Johnny's dad was four years younger than his mom. Mm -hmm. He was. She was 25, he was 22, and okay, well, big deal. Well, it is a big deal because you know, and I know, well, you're, you're still in your 20s. But when you're in your 20s, Bless your, brain, you. <laughs> your brain isn't really fully developed till you're 26. I think I was 45 when mine was fully developed. But you're a guy, you guys develop uh, later, Johnny's but... Johnny's dad, and this was brought out in court, but Johnny's dad seemed to be a very passive guy. He never liked confrontation, which is very much like how Johnny is, that we found out in court. He, Johnny is kind of a, a passive person, I guess, to, a, to an extent, like his father. He claims here that 
In terms of Johnny Depp's biological father, he was four years younger than his mother at the time of their marriage. He was a mild-mannered, shy man who shied away from controversy at all costs. According to testimony given in court, Johnny is exactly like his father. Nevertheless, the father opted to respect his mother's opinion rather than argue. But his father, uh, I think, allowed his mom, Betty, to call the shots, to make the decisions. And so rather than argue with his, his mom, uh, he let her call the shots. He, he was passive. And this is uh, consistent with the jobs that he had. According to reports, the star of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise's fans raised hundreds of dollars through crowdfunding to view a recently unsealed document dump that sparked interest in the well-publicized trial. Both Johnny Depp and Amber Heard are getting ready to appeal the verdict in their defamation lawsuit. The Pirates of the Caribbean star had already won in the court of public opinion before the decision was made. In anticipation of getting away from the Pirates of the Caribbean actor, fans had gathered in front of the Virginia courtroom. There are allegations that people who like the Hollywood star and others with an insatiable appetite for gossip are still willing to consume anything related to the issue. There does not seem to be any good news for Johnny Depp based on an early review of more than 6,600 pages. Legal experts were questioned about their opinions on the subject during interviews with a range of media outlets. Few of them told Rolling Stone that what people were seeing was all the revealed accusations and possibly embarrassing claims that Depp's attorneys had successfully kept out of the trial. According to Brett Ward, a family lawyer in New York, Johnny's circumstances were clearly more challenging. The legal team for Johnny Depp was successful in gaining a number of significant pre-trial rulings. Due to the favorable rulings made during the case's pre-trial phase, the material he chose to exclude from the evidence ultimately causes him greater harm. The overwhelming weight of the evidence indicates that he is currently in the worst situation. Legal analyst Emily Baker thinks it was naive of anyone to assume that all of these motions would simply produce outcomes that were favorable to Johnny Depp and unfavorable to Amber Heard. Baker adds, I think it would have been naive for anyone to think that all these motions were only going to have flattering things for Johnny Depp. I always expected it to be both sides slinging mud at one another because that's what pre-trial motions are. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Check out our channel for more videos if you like this one. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay updated on our latest videos. Don't forget to hit the like button.